Science and technology have always been brilliant examples of humanity's progress, and mankind has been able to convert its greatest dreams into reality. Going to space used to be something only countries did, but now it's something regular citizens can do, thanks to Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. These two have one thing in common. They both have a great deal of money behind them, which is where Astra comes in with their goal of developing small, cheap rockets. Astra is an American aerospace launch vehicle company based in Almeida, California. It was founded by Chris Kemp and Adam London with the sole purpose of one thing, delivering massive goods and services of companies, such as satellites, from a particular location to the lower orbit. Before we proceed further, I want to let you guys in on something amazing, if not peculiar, about aerospace companies. I know you are curious, so grab a cup of coffee or tea and get ready to be stunned by what I am about to say. You might have been thinking, what do space companies benefit, right? Space companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, Astra, and many more make a profit by being given contracts by major companies, and mainly NASA, to move goods and services to space, international space stations, lower orbits, and even Mars efficiently and in time. There is a big opportunity to capture economies of scale. To achieve these many things are necessary. One amazing quality about Astra was that it invested in machines and infrastructure less expensive to produce rockets at a high scale and avoid investing in expensive technologies that drive costs and labor high, hard for them to scale production easily. Isn't that amazing and smart? Astra's ability to exceed Blue Origin being an old and experienced gain in the sector makes it astonishing, don't you think? This small upcoming aerospace company's success rate is only due to its ability to make just small rockets and test running them day after day, therefore learning from each failure and improving on the next model. However, the cost it requires to run these projects normally do meet up with the big giants like SpaceX and Blue Origin might seem expensive, but SpaceX has made it known and clear that it doesn't require really expensive equipment and parts to make aircraft and launch making it easy for small aerospace industries to hopefully build theirs. Astra has built a series of rockets and tested them with many failures than success, but the lower the cost of equipment and body parts, the more the rockets they can produce and test run. They believe mainly on mass production and scaling launch operations. This means that they are not just going to build a gigantic rocket, they are not going to work on re-entry system, nor going to put people on rockets, but it's actually about getting them something to space and getting it back to Earth safely. The basic needs of their clients are for this aircraft to be able to deliver today's market and necessities, which means they can have a 50 kilogram class rocket 3 series deliver a particular amount of service to the International Space Station, lower orbit or space. As much as the market increases, so do the size. If a service of such weight arises, like 150 kilograms or 200 kilogram rockets, then it will be made. Based on economic needs, they believe what matters is a rocket that can deliver 500 kilograms of service to a particular orbit. What this all means is that no matter how small a rocket looks, looks don't matter, but it can deliver the specified goods and services needed a day to day and being cost smart during the production of this said rockets are important. These are qualities that Astra possesses, which has so far guaranteed their success in the aerospace sector presently. Blue Origin is a large aerospace and geospace company privately funded and also specialized in manufacturing suborbital aircraft or spacecraft. It was founded by Jeff Bezos in the year 2000, who is a multi-billionaire and the founder of Amazon. Unlike Astra, Blue Origin's basic goals focus on exploring and expanding means to source out discovery and survival of humanity, natural resources outside of space. After Blue Origin's success in launching New Shepard from Texas years back into space successfully accompanied by its founder Jeff Bezos, it has set a new target and developed a new project model to go back into space and Mars to give yet another success, which kicked off during 2016 and was set to launch by 2020, but was then changed by March to 2022 due to reasons best known to them. I believe the question pounding in your hearts now will be, why? One of the renowned space giants who happened to be in the spotlight of last year, SpaceX known for its outstanding number of breakthroughs and launches, equipment, durability, achievements, and successful projects founded by Elon Musk, with more mind-blowing capabilities to offer in the nearest future, has made it clear that although space is a hard place to go, but it's not impossible, and in several launches, has shown that they don't have to build a giant rocket to be able to go to space. 
making it easy for small, medium-scale companies to build small rockets and launch them into orbit. What do you feel about this? I guess it's only logical to say there's room for everyone to succeed, and there's no success without failure, right? Astra has had about seven successful rocket launches and countless failures. Let's talk about its failure, which in turn brought about their success. The first failure Astra faced was the first two models, which were just for the suborbital test. Well, you might want to chuckle a bit, because I can imagine the look on their faces after those first unsuccessful tests. The third rocket was lost during a launch pad failure. The fourth was their first attempt towards orbital launch, but funny enough, it fell down 30 seconds after launch due to a guidance error. Another test took place three months later, not giving up, the rocket reached space, but did not have enough propellant to reach orbit. Another attempt took place the following year, on the 20th of August in 2021, with the higher expectation to finally attain glory, but left everyone shocked with mouths opened wide. They all watched as the launch went sideways. Almost as the rocket launched, the aircraft moved sideways rather than upwards toward the sky. I bet you're already laughing out. But after a few seconds, it eventually corrected itself and flew vertically into the sky. In about two minutes and some seconds after taking off, the person in charge of the flight terminated the flight. Having said all of this, how did Astra overcome all of these situations even after attempts and failures? This is how they did it. They analyzed all their previous mistakes, failures and errors, and then made changes to all the engine's faults and also the takeoff point, which posed a possible problem. Then they remodeled. Even after just being established only five years ago in 2016, we have to admit that Astra has tested and achieved a whole lot. It has strived with a short space of time, resources, manpower, and achieved, unlike Blue Origin new rocket, New Glenn, which had been in production from 2016 till 2022. Although the Blue Origin project is quite gigantic, ambitious, revolutionary, and great if it works, providing heavy lifting and services to space, orbit, International Space Station, geospace, and even Mars, but the problem is we are not seeing how this is going to work and why it's taking this long with the previous procrastination to 2022, but even at 2023. Given the massiveness and technicalities, do you think this project will eventually work? The Blue Origin project is 98 meters tall. Unlike their previous project, the New Shepard, which was 18 meters tall, feels funny imagining the size, right? But because it is so expensive to build, the Blue Origin has to recover its money spent on this project. The engineers working on the Blue Origin have made several complaints that the 98 meter rocket has been nothing but pain. They said that it develops enormous technical issues. Judging from this, Let's just say that the aircraft isn't going to be ready any sooner. It's important also that these spacecrafts are reusable to offset the cost and attract profit and more contracts, as it is very important when building a rocket. However, will it be logical to say Blue Origin is at a disadvantage to meeting up with its launching date? We are within a few months to 2022. What do you think might happen in 2022 to Astra and Blue Origin? Will SpaceX yet take the spotlight next year as it is going to unveil another amazing spaceship it intends to launch? Or will Blue Origin take the spotlight by 2022? Or better still, will this small growing company Astra take the spotlight? As 2021 ends gently and 2022 comes to light slowly, the competition is high and the audience will be watching. Do comment and let me know what you think about all of this and what you feel will happen by 2022.